What's up guys and welcome back to another Deadman Mode video. Now this actually isn't like a uh, one day video. This is clips from day three, day four, and day five. So it's all different stages in my caps and I don't really explain all of it. It's just a bunch of PK and clips put together. There's a whole lot of clips that I don't put in here just because I don't think it's worth putting them in there and stuff. I wasn't really like structuring them as I used to structure my like my old videos on previous seasons where I do day by day and show all my kills. I was kind of just chill PKing, not taking anything too seriously and just recording what happened. So I thought I'd chuck together a little highlight video, I guess, of day three to day five. I think I will be able to make proper vids uh, from day six going onwards. But uh, yeah, just enjoy the, the past couple clips. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you are new. We are range and mage for the first couple clips, and then we do start getting stuff like a Gmall later on. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, I think this guy has a glory, so this is definitely worth killing. I honestly thought he was just a ragger, but I think he just ran back to the bank because he's low on food. I don't know. Oh, fuck. I might have messed up there, actually. I don't know. Let's just pray rage for now. Use the MSP. I think I killed this guy yesterday. I don't know. Uh, should I use my bruise is the question. I don't know. Is he out? What the fuck just happened there? Snare him? There we go. Maybe this guy helps us? I don't know. DDS him, Neekscape. DDS him. Is he dead to this fire wave? Oh my god, he didn't even run into multi. I thought it was a multi bait for sure. Can I catch a snare? There we go. I honestly thought it was a multi bait. I was gonna die. He was completely out of food. He dropped his glory. What? No way did he drop his glory. Who did he drop it to? Did he drop it to a friend or something? Good fight. If he dropped his glory, I would be pissed. Where is it? Amulet glory. He took it off because it was uncharged. He was trying to telly. Yikers. Alright, good fight, dude. Get 130 blood runes, bunch of stuff like that. Good fight, dude. Alright, we only 5 minutes sculled on that guy because he's already sculled. So what was the key? It's going to be pretty, pretty bad. Yep, everything is skewed prices as well. I'll just take the 12 sharks. I saw a guy skull, but he fucking booked it. Okay, we caught it actually. I was just going for a bot real quick. Decent. I was going for a fire wave. Decent. We're doing actually a lot of damage right now. I really hope he runs to the bank instead of going to the dungeon though. I don't know which one he's going to do. Pre range, going for the refreeze here. There we go. He must have low ass mage if I catch every freeze. For sure. Oh fuck, I misclicked there. It's going with MSB. Into the fire wave. That's such a big hit as well. Let's re snare him. There we go. Let's go for the spec. Is he out of food? There's no way he's out of food. Good fight. What the hell? Oh my. That's actually some decent loot as well. Snakeskin boots. Those are 50k right now, apparently. Rune full helm. Oh my god, 580 broad bolts. That is actually a big kill. The glory's 50k. Snakeskin boots are 50k. He had 580 uh, broad bolts. That is good loot. It's DMM Spartan. Oh, he's already running for it. He is running for it. I guess not to smite when we're at a monastery, huh? Seems kind of pointless. Let's see if we can catch a freeze on him in here. If we can, that'd be nice. That's a lot of damage we can do. We caught a freeze on him before the altar as well. It's going for a bolt here. Zero. Is he out of food? No way is this guy out of food. I was about to say, bro. What the fuck? There's just no way. Let's snare him there. Oh, he's immune. Snare him. Please. There we go. He's going for a bolt. I want to put on the arrows, actually. He's going for a fire wave. Give me a big one. 25. Then I'm going to MSP. Oh my god, we just cooked him. We just cooked him with a fire wave. He just drops that. Holy shit. Four keys. He had a D skim. DDS. That's a fucking bank kill right there. 20k cash. Holy shit, dude. He had 2k boom bolt. Why does everyone have boom bolts, bro? I don't get that one. That is a bank kill. I'm going to out the rest of his stuff that I can't pick up. But that is... What is that? That's four keys in my invent now. D skim DDS. Jeez. All right, four keys. Apparently, the first one's really good, according to the guy I killed. He said I had 30... He said he had 30 prayer pots or something. Anyway, another... Like, what? We killed two PKers. One of them had like pretty much no food and ran away the other guy we found at the monastery so open the demo chest he was not lying 28 prayer pots 160 unfinished broad bolts that skews the price loads but 28 on uh prayer pots that is sick that is like a lot of money 36 sharks 30k cash straight up and four stamina i'm happy with that i think this is the guy i killed at monastery uh pretty terrible but his loot was decent and then i guess he killed absolute noobs before running into me so pretty terrible keys but let's go check what we have in the bank from all of that as well. 
100k cash, and we have all these black DI sets, rune crosswords. We can sell that all, probably get up to around a 500k cash deck right now, so we can be fully supplied for a little bit. This guy's got a D skim. He says, don't. He's running west instead of back to edge, too. How much food does this guy have? Legit. Is he out? Come on. Is he dead? 26 for the KO. I honestly thought he got away for a second. But that is a D skim PK. Which is like 60k, so that's definitely worth it. GG, dude. Plus whatever is in his key. He X logged. And I managed to hit him. I managed to kill him. If I can hit, that is. If I can hit, please. Eight. That's a li that's literally a one. Twelve. Is he dead? He's dead. He X logged. And I managed to PJ the anchor off him because he didn't have his auto on. And we have 700 death runes. He had Onyx Bolt tips? Holy shit, I just PK'd bank. Holy fuck, dude. T this guy just a nice PK. TY, fuck, I should have brought, um. What's it called? I should have brought my looting bag up here because this guy had bruise. This guy had everything. 740 death runes. That's actually bank. Broad bolts. There's my own. Let's loot this all up. Hopefully that key's good. He was not expecting it to die, that's for sure. Look at all the bruise we have. We have nine brews. I should have probably got more stores. It goes Black Dead, Mystic Hat, 12 Onyx Bolt Tips, which is going to suffer a lot. 20k cash and 740 death runes, which is alone like 300k right now, I think. Don't mind if I do. That is some bank loot. All right, this guy had 750 death runes, so I'm thinking the key might be good. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So like a, two caps later and a couple PKs later, I did actually manage to get a G Mall. And I was on this guy in Edge. Then I actually saw a PKer in red dehyde, rune crossbow, rune kite shield, etc. He's like no ditter. And he pulls out Sara Strike with full mystics. He is risking the lot. This is a very big kill early days, you know. Every person I need to I attack, I need to kill to profit. Otherwise the supplies are just too expensive. And this is before the emblem store update as well. So I start getting on him, you know, he has red dehyde, so obviously his other stats are pretty high because his range isn't. And he has full mystics. So obviously, I'm going to hop on him. Bro, this guy's got Sara Strike and shit. Let's go for a Fire Wave. Nice. Let's go for a Bolt here. Let's catch a Resnare here, because I think he's trying to escape, to be honest. Yeah, he is. Let's go for a Bolt. Decent. Let's go for another one in a second. Nice. Go for another bolt, then we have to try and refreeze him. Try and refreeze him here. I was trying to bank, I see. Start knifing him. Let's see if he panics or not. Okay, well, I'm not actually hitting anything. Let's just pray mage here. Okay, he's hitting me with the charge and shit. Let's drop the sharks. We're gonna go for a G Mall in a second. G Mall him? Dead? Oh, fuck. Into the skimmy? Into the skimmy? Zero? What is this? Dead? Good fight. We just peeked bank. We just peeked fucking bank. Holy shit. I should have died to the G Mall, but we just peeked bank with the rest of that. I'm actually so happy now. <laughs> we just peeked bank. Let's pick it all up. Good fight. Mystics, Red D. I don't know why he had Red D. His stats are super weird, but he had Rune and shit. So don't mind if I do. Good fight. Let's pick it all up. Hopefully that's a good key as well. He had Bone Bolts on him. Why does everyone have Bone Bolts, bro? I don't get it. He did only have rune gloves and no barrows gloves, but I should be able to buy my own after that, to be honest. So me and a streamer called Perp, I'm sure who you know who he is, he's an Australian guy, we're doing some PKing together. And we actually found this guy at, uh, we have, we actually found him at Wilderness, but he did teleport to Castle Wars after. So we hopped on him there, and we were basically just chasing him around the, around the Wilderness, because he was running low on supplies, and he was very KOable. Here you see going for the G-Mall, 2315 into the D-Skim, unfortunately hit a zero. Maybe if I just G-Mall whacked him, he would have died, but it was quite unfortunate, that was definitely a kill chance on him. Uh, and yeah, he was just he was just talking a lot of shit pretty much and we were just chasing him around trying to kill We could we were on world 12, which is an Australian world and we could tell he wasn't from here He was having a lot of trouble banking So we know if we just kept following him around banking to banking We would be able to kill him and he actually tried going to deal arena and we found him there
So you can see I found him at the dealer arena. I immediately hopped on him. He was having trouble banking again. At this point, I lost my skull. I was just trying to put in that damage. You could see even against the D skin or the rune crossbow, he was still having trouble. I almost actually kill KO'd him here on bank delay because he couldn't eat for a couple seconds. But he did get that prey melee on in time. I was just I was just putting in the work, you know, hoping I could get lucky, waiting for my spec to regenerate so I'd get another chance at killing him, or maybe knifing him out. So this point is when he actually runs out of supplies. And I'll explain to you how I know he's out of supplies when we actually open the keys. And it'll make a lot more sense here. Anyway, this is only like day four of DMM. If you're not very lucky, you're not going to have that many supplies. And I'm not going to lie, we were chasing this guy around the like banks for at least 10 to 15 minutes. And believe me, that drains a lot of your sharks. And if you're not fortunate enough to get some lucky PKs, you're not going to have enough sharks to you know successfully bank tank for that long. So at this point, he was uh, completely out of stuff in his uh, bank. He still had stuff in his inventory, but I think he was just panicking quite a bit looking for stuff in his bank. And he couldn't actually get the hits off in uh, the bank delay time. I was splashing loads of freezes here. If he just ate food and stayed calm, he would have been fine. But he was just panicking way too much. There you see I start freaking out because my Gmold doesn't kill him. I thought he was gonna uh, eat back up, but I think he was still looking in the bank. And I do manage to kill him with the 23D skim. And you can see he has around eight sharks in his loot pile, but nothing else. And I pick up all his loot and stuff. And then I will show you how I know he had no supplies left in his bank and he had run completely dry. These keys should be good, because I killed two PKers. Okay, this one is just terrible. This one is good at supplies. This one is just not that great. So this was the third key off the guy we killed at Deal Arena, and now as you can see, the first things in his uh, bank are his prayer pots, and his range pots, and his super strength. Now, at this time, prayer pots were around 3k each, and sharks were about 1k each. And brews were about 20k each at the time of this kill. So if he had any brews in his bank, they would have been the first things to show up as you know, one or two brews would be enough to overpower the prayer pots. Either way, it would have been one of the 10 items. Then the sharks would have been one of the next things. It definitely would have been above things like you saw in his uh, chest, like super defense pots. So he was completely out of sharks and brews. We followed him around enough time to completely drain him of sharks and brews, and we did manage to kill him for his mystics and stuff like that. So in this clip, my friends were bank fighting some guy in World 12 Castle Wars, and they actually asked me if I wanted to come fight him, because this guy actually talks quite a bit of shit about me in DMM, on Twitch and stuff like that, and it's always kind of like caused drama with me. So when I heard it was him, you know, of course I'm going to take the challenge, I'm not going to shy down for a fight. So I went in and started fighting him, and here we have another classic case of someone who panics under pressure, because when I started knifing him and stuff like that, you could tell it was really getting to him, and he was panicking quite a bit. So I just kept, I just kept knifing him, hoping I'd get the kill. So we're all about 70 HP right now as well with the XP caps and stuff. So when I bolted him this, what, what was it, a 15? He was on about 50 HP. And I bolted him again, he's in full robes, prey range, I go home for the Gmol specs, and I hit a 1-2, unfortunately. Now here I thought he had escaped, and just watch what happens. I'm knifing him, I think he's like, alright, I'm not going to be able to get food out. So what he does is, he, he's unsculled right now, so he can telly out pretty easily. So he goes in for the freeze, he catches the freeze on me, and he goes around the corner and he goes for the telly. I start seeding, I realize I can't hit him, and he's unsculled so he can instant telly now. And look in the map, he tellies right back into Castle Wars, my friend G mauls him as he logs in. Why, why would he do that? Why would he just not go back to Varrock or something, but he tellies port teleports in right back into Varrock, I mean right back into Castle Wars, and I just start knifing him again. He's just like giving me another attempt at killing him. I'm so confused as to why he did this. He was definitely panicking so much right now. So here you can see the knives are doing their work. He's definitely struggling banking and he actually gets smited in just a second here. And once he gets smited by knives, if you're not redrawing food, you're not redrawing prayer pots, you're going to die. He had a Tome of Fire, a Gmol, everything. And it was safe to say this is pretty much the end of the story. You can see he's panicking, he's running in and out. There's just nothing he's doing, and my knives are just chopping away at him. I think at this point, like, what is he even healing? He's healing, like, 12s and stuff. He's eating, like, lobsters and shit like that. He's running back and forth between the bank. Still no prayer pot, still no prayer. He tries going for the freeze attempt, and I just knife him out on his mystics, and he's dead. And another shit talker bites the dust. And this is probably my biggest kill so far this season, because the Tome of Fire is 500k, the g Mall is 500k, and then all the mystics and stuff like that add up to around 1.5 mil total loot on the guy. Shout out to the rune knives, you're truly a blessing. What was this key? 529, oh, it's super strength, super tax and shit, I guess, nice. Holy shit. That is a big fucking spec. 
2326 or something. He was not expecting to die. He had D-skim, ammo to power, and room plate legs. Need a box, bro? I'm good right now, man. I'm not manked up mage. But, jeez. Some good loot right there. This guy with the red D hide just tallied in. I wonder if he's going to go to the bank or he's just going to run for it. He'll probably just run for it, right? X1, bro? What does that even mean, X1, bro? Huh? What? Let's fire wave him. Oh, we should probably chuck up a smite, huh? See if we can refreeze him here. We're probably not going to catch many freezes, to be honest. Actually, he's in red D hide, to be fair. Now. Try and uh, spec him out into the G mall. Dead? 1825. He's dead. Good fight, dude. Smited him on that hit as well. Jesus, what was this guy doing? D skim, room plate skirt, need room crossbow, coins, 15k, pretty decent loot, room plate skirt, D skim, 30k cash from Alcables. So I'm just chilling, minding my own business, and in a second, this guy teleports into Castle Wars with a dragon plate skirt. Now, most people are still 40 deaf at this time. His name is also Lig My Nuts Kids, so yeah. Most people are still 40 deaf at this time. The people are 60 defense, probably paid like a mil. For the dragon plate skirts that's what it probably is worth i wouldn't know because if i did pk a dragon plate skirt i was going to keep it and use it when i got 60 death obviously so we backfight for a little bit blah, blah 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 and then eventually he does try going for the run and he runs out east so this guy with the d plate skirt runs all the way east he's running to ogres he's trying to get a box off to the ogres while he loses his skull or something he's actually called a white dot he's called a friend who you can see in the south now the boxing actually isn't allowed so he can't even get a box on this guy and he can't pj me off if i'm on him obviously because of the pj timer so I don't know what exactly the friend was there for. He tries getting a box of the ogre there, but I managed to snare him in time and got a couple of fire waves in here. I'm just trying to work down his damage. He's clearly low on supplies, low on food, and uh, he's just sort of panicking, trying to get a box off with whatever ogre he can. I get hit off there, and he actually does manage to get a box with an ogre, but uh, you know he does have melee stats, so he is going to kill it eventually. So once he kills it, I get another snare on him, and I just start doing damage, and he is smited at this point, or he's just, I don't know, he's trying to save his prayer or something. Hit a bunch of zero fire waves, even though he doesn't have a very high mage level and he is in dragon plate screw and stuff like that. I get hit off by another ogre. And at this point, we have ourselves a rule breaker because he actually bolts his friend and they literally start boxing right in front of me. He takes off his armor and they start hitting each other. So I try and play the card. Oh, I'm recording, by the way. You're not allowed to do that. So they keep boxing. And look what he says. He says, fuck you. Then he says the bad word. And then he tells me to kill myself. Now, there's where they fuck up. They run into the middle of ogres. They actually lose aggro. And this he starts panicking after he loses his box. He starts running all the way north. His friend's, like, hitting an ogre now. He's completely panicked. He's running all the way north. These ogres up north aren't even aggressive. So he is just fucked up. I catch a phrase on him all the way north. He's out of prayer. It is all over for this person who's been very toxic and broke the rules. This guy was boxing. I think he's out of prayer now. Hopefully my fire wave just cooks him. Legit is cooking him. It is cooking him up. Let's snare him here. Catch it, please. No way I'm gonna splash him, bro. He's out of run. He's dead. I gotta call him a moron. He tried boxing and he told me to kill myself. Deep plate square. I think that's like a mill right now. Holy shit. That is a bank PK. <laughs> you always gotta call them a moron after they tell them tell you to kill yourself. So, you know, 1k broad bolts as well. I'm using broad bolts right now, so I'm gonna wear that. Nature runes, only a couple. I guess he doesn't have a lot of mage. He was boxing earlier. I think that guy left him, and then he was completely out of food. So that is a very big kill for myself, if I do say so. Let's get out of here real quick. D-skirt, which is like, I think 500k or a mil. Honestly, don't know. D-skim. Glory. Not bad. He didn't even have a spec weapon from the looks of it. I thought he had a spec weapon. Three keys. This third one could be big as shit. We don't know. We had a D-plate skirt. Okay, not big, but first key is 10k cash and then just a bunch of super restores, I guess. This one's pretty bad. What does this guy have? Jesus, bro, this guy had a T D plate skirt and stuff like this and he had nothing else. But still, you know, the cash is looking nice. We got a lot of D skims, a lot of stuff we could sell. Probably a 1 mil plus cash deck once we finish selling stuff. So we're in a good, pretty good position. Alright, that is going to be it for today's video. There's a bunch of more clips, but I think I'll just put it in my day 6 video at like the start before we actually get into day 6 or something like that. I'm sorry the video is not that very well structured, but there's a lot of kills on PKers in here and some nice GML kills towards the end. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. I'm going to try and play the season as long as possible. I've got my hands on some PvP weapons that I will use when the caps make it possible, so that should be a lot of fun. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed the video.